Well, hello everyone, and 3.10 is finally here for Star Citizen. I'm excited, let's jump in and play. There's been a hell of a lot of quality life of improvements. Uh, the flight system is much closer to what it's going to be. They've completely revamped that. They've uh, redone a lot of the ship fighting stuff. Oh, it's, it's yeah. Like, fixed weapons are now powerful, whereas so auto gimbal's not the only way to go. Yeah, let's just jump in, let's just jump in. I'll do the same as I always do. I've got like a... Oh. I begin blending. That's the one. And then I'll go to something like that. And here. There we go. Are we mohawk or do I want something else? Ah, I like that. We'll go for that. Change colour. Yeah, there's not a lot of colour options really at the moment, is there? Let's go for that for now. Right, accept. Confirmation. Confirm. Save. Right, uh, new Babbage Laurel, you 18. Hmm. Start off in Laurel. And yes, uh, for this first part, I thought I'd swap my game packages over to the sh alien ship that's on sale for a limited time, the Jian Cartu Al, which is a uh, for the Xi'an. It is their basic light fighter, but when they port, when OPA, the company, I don't know if it is Xi'an run or it is human run, but there's a company that basically takes Xi'an vessels and retrofits them for human use. And when that happened, this military light fighter got turned into more of a scout. It had its weapons downsized a wee bit. Well, not downsized, it had them. Um, the number of them reduced, so it's only got two size threes, and one of the reasons it's on sale is it used to have two size twos, but they've given it a buff, it's two size threes now, and I thought we'd really like to give this a look. Uh, it is a very unique ship in the form that it was obviously it's alien, the alien ships are all very weird, but it's very weird in the fact that it doesn't have a main engine, it's just got very big and numerous uh, manoeuvring thrusters, and so it gives it this much more, like, manoeuvring, like, whereas, eh, this'll do, like, my little snips here for creating models. Normally, a ship flies like that, but with these guys, they're much more, like, manoeuvrable. So let's go give that a try, the new flight model, plus two, size three fixed guns, it's not a lot of firepower. But it's roughly the same to what I'm used to. Oh, yeah, lag spikes. I'm recording, which takes up a lot of stuff. So this game's not perfect when you're in cities when I'm recording. We'll get the odd frame drop spike. But yes, I suppose I shall see you when I get to the hangar. Um, just quickly before I go. Links in the description if you want to join either the. If you want to get the game, there's a code. When you sign up, you'll get a wee bit extra Wonga and it'll get me towards getting a free ship. And. There's a link as well for the perfectly unorganized noobs. A little group I've set up for us all to get together and play in the game. Uh, whoa! Someone AI's well, he started walking perfect there. Someone's AI is not perfect. An org, there we go. An organization for us to play in. So, see you all in a second. Well, hello everyone, and uh, it's been a couple of days since the last little snippet you just seen there for me because I had quite a few problems. I had a uh, because I upgraded my packs between patches. It was between the last time I played three point nine and. The first time I played 3.10, there was a persistence bug because in between these two points, I'd changed my packs. So, 
the information the game had when it was updating to 3.10 was information from 3.9 which didn't match up with the information from my account and it let me get into the game but I had my old ships and stuff so it was a wee bit weird but yes I tried redoing all my packs 24 hours later because you can't redo them with it's a 24 hour delay between redoing them and uh, that didn't work so I had to reset my whole character so yes but we finally do have it and we've been given an Archimedes just for free for now as well as the freelancer so two little free things and the beta I just got because I had a uh, exactly enough credits left over for a beta so yeah card to owl let's get it out and let's give it a try hangar nine Right, and I did learn something else new about the car to owl. I thought it had two size three fixed guns. It's better than that. It's got two size four guns gimbaled down to size three. So for now, we're going to try it with the default loadout. But it has potential for even more firepower. At first, I thought, yeah, two size threes, nothing to write home about. Like, yeah. Most ships, most fighters, you'll have normally two size threes and two size twos. So, or something similar, something around that neighborhood. So here we are, let's take a look at this beaut. So there's its sort of hybrid maneuvering thrusters, engines, like sort of in the middle ground between the two. And you can see there's the guns there pointing upwards because this ship flies, the best way to describe it is a slave ship one. Star Wars, Boba Fett ship. The Mandalorian character in the films. So yes. Let's open the canopy. There should be stairs I can get lowered as well. How do I just... Oh wait, open ladder, there it is. I just wanted to do that first. Look at that. They actually float. Now oh, let's enter the ship. Walking up that little invisible ladder. Oh, this is weird. It's got the two hand things instead. Flight ready. Yes, this is really weird. Let's change this to comms. Whoa, 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 I'm looking. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I've really mucked up. I've forgotten what button is it. Is it V? There we go, there we go. It's kind of as being down. I'm trying to remember what button it is. All the stuff's changed. I don't want to have the look around. I want to control the ship. There we go. 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 So now if we... Now how am I going to get up now? Because we're upside down. Right, that gave us a bit of movement. We're bouncing around. Oh no, the hangar's already shut. No, the hangar's shut. Why are we going down? Oh wait, because I can't hover for that long. I forgot, I spent way too long trying to get up. Right, let's see. Uh... 
We maybe have lost one of my left wings as well. There we go, we're out. Yeah, we've lost some wings. Oh my word. Right, let's see if we can get into atmosphere and repairs then. Right, that was completely my fault. Completely derpy. But we're out. Yeah, oh yeah, boy, you can see those maneuvering thrusters. It'll give you a lot of all around movement. I wish I had my other two wings, but as long as I've still got all four maneuvering thrusters, it's mainly just the aerodynamics that it's killing. So let's see now. Whoa, it's going to be really maneuverable, this thing. Right. Let's press that. Hotkeys have all changed too, and I never knew that hotkey what it was anyway. It was the one to give you a look and say, hey, right, let's go see if we can get a repair. Then we can try this ship out properly. What am I looking for? Skyline. Nope. Why can't I see? There it is. I'm just as blind as a bat. Everest Harbour. I want the harbour. Seriously, why can't I click on it? There we go, set route. Why am I facing down? Oh, wait, I just realised. My wings and the wind probably turned me around and I just told it to... Right. Yeah, I'm fighting the wind now. My ship wants to face down. Maybe if I go like that, it'll want to turn up. Uh-huh. The aerodynamics played a wee bit of a bit there. There we go, there we go. No. This is a really cool looking ship, I must say. Oh, oh, we're already there. Alright, let's go in. You can still fire the guns. It's gonna be kinda weird. Oh, I forgot, yeah, we're going pretty fast. It should be pretty fast to slow down as well because of these thrusters. Because I'm pushing backwards. It's not slowing down fast as I would like, though. But I should easily be able to... Please come to an immediate halt and hold for your... Wait, wait, why am I not slowing down? Oh, I had ceased the one. Oops. Uh, I'm trying to not move. I'm not moving now. If maybe if I just right, maybe if I power off. Right, I've powered off. So I cannot move if I wanted to. 
Failure to comply, you've got to be kidding me, I've powered off! Today is just not my day. It's not my fault my ship's damaged and I didn't want to come to a complete halt. Right. Up here. Which is where? Hopefully just here. Oh, it's over there. Right, over there. Whoa! Yeah. Right, we'll be able to deal with that crime stack. Whenever I land. I seem to have a problem slowing down. Why is it not slowing... Slowing down? There must be a... Uh... There we go. There we go. I've done it now. Is that someone else in my landing spot? Wait, oh, I'm meant to be on the other side. Derp. There we go. There was another hotkey I'd pushed. Right, so again, completely my fault. I've got to relearn how to fly. To be honest, those hotkeys may have been the same, but... I thought my landing... Yeah, I was going to say I thought my landing gear was down. <sighs> repair? At least the repair is not that bad. I don't, yeah, I don't really care about them. Hey! Right! <coughs> We've harped and derped around too much. Oh yeah, there's a new trader. We can give uh, people money. Right. Bounty Hunter. The Evaluation! Right. Uh, da, 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 da. Skyline. Where is it? Let's go there! Landing complete. Right, and let's do this. That's kind of cool. Oh, you gotta love that. Landing gear down. I'm gonna take a while to get used to that high maneuverability. Landing gear up. Right. Let's try and go do this. It is one hell of a saucy ship. I must admit, it looks gorgeous. We're already slowing down. Quantum travel complete. Right, we jump to here. Give the 
has got to all a little run for its money. But yeah, built itself. I really need to practice atmospheric flight, and I've got to remember whenever you're taking off and landing, you've got to not be fast, but you can loaf about because you can't hover. Hovering's not a thing. Is you can only hover for a very small amount of time. Oh, round we go. Got a wee bit of a hit there. Come to daddy, come to daddy. I hate that noise it's making when I'm getting, it's confirming hits. Ow! Stop making that noise! There should be an auto gimbal option as well. Stop making that noise whenever I get hit! It's, it's really annoying! Just gonna stay relatively still. Maybe I should too. Got it. We're behind you, and that's where I'm gonna stay if I can. Oh, he's turned round. He's turned round. Trying to get round behind you. He's not able to land that many hits on me. I'm not able to land that many hits on him, to be honest, either. I'll need to look up and see what the auto gimbal thing is. But I was finding it easier to get hits without gimbling at all. Oh yeah, because it's got the aim assist. Yeah, I'm forgetting about that. So it probably would be able to get easier to get hits without aim assist. So far, I've got to say, I definitely would much rather two size fours in this. I'll get more firepower, easier to hit. We're slowly tearing through his shields. We're behind him again. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got one. Alert. Starboard crash close. To what? To what? Oh, he's spinning. I think he's had a crash or we've taken out one son. Maybe we hit one of his missiles. I do not know. We've taken Sun out. I think we've taken out one of his wings. Ah, yeah, I'm looking up at his image. We've taken out one of his wings and stuff. He's... Yeah, now I'm close enough, I can see. He's got to be unconscious. It's just a matter of trying to get the coup de grace now. Oh, he's calmed down a bit. It should be easier to hit him. He must have... 
regain consciousness or maybe hit something else. Oh no, 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 he's on the. Yeah, it's spinning like magic. There we go. Alright, let's just check. See, there was a new. Controls. Let's just take a look here. From flight. Shields on off, weapons on off, accept invite and reject invite. Toggle gimbal mode. Okay, there we go. So it's G. It is now G. I think I want that on because then I'll be able to still fly in the right. There we go. That's the one I want. Right, we'll try it out like this. This is the mode that all gimbals really should be on. I'll be able to let me fly where I want to fly and shoot at the direction I want to shoot at the same time. So let's try the C1 difficulty and then the C2 difficulty. And these will both be harder fights, but I should have a lot better accuracy because I should be able to hit relatively often. I should be able to hit more times than I would with ungimbled weapons now, whereas I was easier, I found it easier to hit before when I was testing in the PTU. Oh, it's Skyline. There's one here, is this the... Is that the C1 or 2 difficulty? Oh yeah, and we should do turn... Contact managers... Is it mercenary? Eliminate threats from Hearst and Space. Call to Arms. There we go. This one, that's it. The Call to Arms. What? Oops, I turned it off. Turn it back on. It does calibrate and stuff really fast to ship. That's nice. It just spills up for quantum. Just like, boom, done. Which is kind of nice. I really like this ship. I do not think it's worth the, aeri the aeri aerial tax, the alien tax. But it's quite a nice ship. And if you did upgun it to the two size fours, I don't think it's. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think that'd be as much DPS as, say, an Arrow or a Gladius. But I do think that the sort of weird maneuverability has the potential to make up for that but again balance we don't know this is not the game's nowhere near final balance for all we know this ship might be OP as hell with the release because of that maneuverability like even arrows struggle to get this thing off its backside in the hands of a skilled pilot and that's the kind of way I feel like this ship's supposed to be like if it's got a skilled pilot that can take advantage of that extra maneuverability not like me like a complete scrubby pilot that really cannot take advantage of the maneuverability at all then yeah it's I feel like that's where this ship should be it should be able to destroy other fighters like easy as anything if it's in the hands of a really skilled pilot because the extra maneuverability should just make it OP in their hands but then anything that has a turret should be the bane of this thing's existence if it's got, unless it's, you know, it's short of anything that's got, like, a very obvious, like, underbelly, like, say, the Freelancer. So, yeah, look, see? Auto Gimbals, getting me the hits already. I hate that damn noise. Oh, do I still have to keep this close to that? I like the UI how it's showing me where it's zeroing in for the auto gimbals. 
Oh yeah, that was a lot easier to kill, and that should have been harder. Because it was a harder mission, and see how fast we killed that guy. But yeah, as I was talking about earlier, I feel like this ship... You know what, let's just, just in case another one spawns here, let's go to Contact Manager, Bounty Hunter. Let's accept that, and the C3 difficulty, oh boy! C3. Oh, 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 oh! There is another one here! Right. It's another Mustang Delta. Attack on right shield. Boom! Another bounty done. But yeah, these auto gimbals are tearing things apart. That was the other C1 difficulty. Just in case another one's come up right here. No. Skyline, where's the next closest one? There's one there. Is there any more on this planet? There is one more here. Is this the C3 or the C2 difficulty? I don't know. Let's find out. If it's the C3 difficulty, that might be too much for this ship to handle. If I had the size 4s, I'd feel a bit more confident about that. Because it could be something that just has too much shields for these two size threes to deal with, but the two size fours probably could punch through. And but yeah, as the point I was trying to talk about earlier, like anything with a turret, apart from something like say a freelancer that's really slow and is going to be easy to stay in an area where that turret can't attack, like below into the front, like. And handling with turrets is going to be the bane of this thing's existence. Right, there's several enemies, but it could still be a. Right, what have we got here? M50 interceptor. Yeah, I think this is the difficulty too. Oh, we're getting attacked all around. Deploy some counter measures. Because we had a missile on the way in. Oh, gee, I turned. Oops, there we go. Right on the back mode. Getting used to these new hotkeys. Oh, our shields are down. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Come on, shields, recharge. I don't want to take any damage. I'm just going to. Hopefully shields will start recharging now. It's saying they are, but it doesn't look like they are. Yeah, they are now. There we go, one down. Uh oh. Deploy that countermeasure. Oh, that shield did, that missile did a lot of damage. Right. Right, a buccaneer. This is probably our target. Buccaneer is a much stronger ship than one we fought so f Wait, no it's not. I'm getting it. I'm harping McDurpin all the time now. I was thinking a uh, Cutty for some reason. Not a Cutty. Yeah, Cutty. I'm really harping McDurpin now. Yeah, Buccaneer. A lot of firepower. Come on, stay on this guy's ass. Stay on this guy's ass. Oh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He's got a lot of firepower. It's hard to see in that sun. I'm glad I've got all gimbals in that situation. Come on, take him, take him, take him, take him, take him. There we go. Right, now this is a cutty. I can, yeah, I can see it before we even thingied onto it. This is the strongest ship we've fought so far. 
It even has a turret. To the front. Top. Yeah, this is definitely the C2 difficulty mission. It's got those shotgun style guns. So far I've been able to mainly dodge them, but they're dangerous at close range. I need to be careful. We've wrecked the shields though. It's, we're starting to do good damage to his structure. Come on, come on. Oh, I see his son red. Son's badly damaged. The missile's incoming. Oh, the missile hit. We took some damage. Oh, that was bad, that was bad. That was a lot of damage. We shouldn't have got so close to them. Come on! I can see his shields are nearly all gone. Come on, he's got no shields at the moment. What's that big red line for? I don't know. Oh, our shields are back. Ow. Did I just see engine destroyed? That mean mine? That's not good. Come on, come on. Yeah, we got him. <sighs> yeah, we took a wee bit of damage there. I can't remember the hotkey to turn and look around. I can't remember it. Nah, I can't remember it. I wanted to go look at the other side because that's the side we got the damaged engine. But anyway, yeah, this is way over the part now. Not that much, probably. So I'm going to say, I hope you've all enjoyed this. I shall see you all next time. Bye, sir, bye. Landing gear up.